himself. Hadley got this one started off a minute 18 into the contest. Matt Brunel took a nice feed from Zillabokos to put South Hadley up one to nothing. Only 20 seconds later, South Hadley got the second marker of the first period. This time it was reversed. Zillabokos from Matt Brunel. And the Tigers went up 2-0 quickly, a minute 38 into the contest. Early in the second period, a minute 56 in, Nate Lohman scored his first goal of the season for the Tigers. Put them up 3-0 at that point, and it was really looking dire for the Green Wave. Even though Green Wave controlled much of the action throughout the second period, it wasn't until five seconds remaining on the clock when co-captain Jacob Bryant corralled the puck at the blue line, got a chip pass in that Derek Lenoise picked up, deked around, did a backhander, and got the green wave on the board with just five seconds to go in the second period. After we got a fresh sheet of ice for the third period, 31 seconds in, Kyle Barnes found the back of the net. Jacob Bryant had taken the puck in over the blue line, sent it wide. Barnes was behind the goal line and just chipped it forward, went off the shoulder of the goaltender, went into the net. So it was 3-2 to two at that point. Oh, excuse me, that was Barnes' last goal. Uh, at 8.13 of the third period, Barnes again. That was the one where the puck went behind the goal line and just the, uh, the extra effort of our other co-captain, Kyle Barnes, made the difference. The 3-3 three -three tie. Well, Seagal certainly had a great great game in the net. Can't take it away from him. He was the difference for South Hadley. Otherwise, this ends up very differently. And uh, some good individual performances on both sides of the puck. But bottom line was uh, everybody gets a point. And uh, credit Greenfield for not, not mailing it in after, after spotting that two-goal lead. A lot of teams might have folded up, but they didn't. And uh, so congratulations to uh, the Greenfield Greenway for sticking with it.